giving praises to God Almighty, who is the head of our life. Uh, to our pastor in her absence, Pastor Geneva Alexander, to our Sunday school superintendent, Amen. my husband, and to you, our father's children. We are so grateful tonight that you have joined us for our weekly Sunday school golden nuggets. And I tell you, we have an awesome lesson again this Amen. Sunday, preparing you for your Sunday school. And we hope that you brought your Sunday school books, your technical devices, and or your Bibles and follow along with us in scripture tonight. And we thank God for the opportunity for those who are tuning in from the west, the east, the north, the south, to those who are tuning in around the world where the sun is coming up and or going down. Amen. We are so grateful that you have taken your precious time to be with us tonight. And we give God the praise and the glory for you. And at this time, we're gonna begin our Sunday school golden nuggets and our superintendent will come with our scripture and our prayer and then the introduction of our lesson amen good evening everyone our scripture tonight is coming from acts the second chapter verses 36 through 38 and it reads therefore let all the house of israel know assuredly that god had made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, mm. both Lord and Christ. Wow. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Lord had a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Again, Acts, the second chapter, verses 36 through 38. This evening, our Heavenly Father, it's again that we come, O oh Lord, glorifying your holy and righteous name. Yes. We come, Lord, giving you all the praise and the glory because it all belongs to you. Yes. We come acknowledging that you are God, and beside you there is no other. There is none greater than you, O oh Lord. Nobody greater. And Father God, we come asking you to forgive us for the sin that we've committed yes. and omitted, Lord. Yes, Lord. Knowingly and unknowingly. Yes. Father God, we come asking you, O oh Lord, to come in tonight. Have your way in our lesson tonight, God. Please, Lord. Oh, Father God, bless the teacher tonight, Please, God. Please, you God. teach the lesson, God. Father God, we decrease and you increase. Yes. Father God, bless everyone that's online right now. Yes. Bless the ones that's coming on later, God. Oh, Father God, send them in from the north, the south, the east, and the west, that something may be said to help somebody, God. Oh, Father God, that somebody may be saved. Yes, somebody may yes, be God. reclaimed, God. Yes. Somebody may be touched, healed, delivered, and set free, Thank God, you, in the name of Jesus. We love you. We praise you. We give you all the glory because it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray, and it is so and so it is. Amen. 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 We have a good lesson before us tonight. Our lesson tonight for uh, is lesson 11 in our fall quarter of less in our summer quarter of lessons I'm sorry for August the 14th <laughs> in the year of our Lord uh, 2022 our lesson tonight is coming from Acts the third chapter verses 1 through 16 a very familiar passage of scripture and a topic of our lesson tonight a lame man healed a lame man healed again that's Acts the third chapter verses 1 through 16. In preparing to teach our lesson, in last week's lesson, mm -hmm. we looked at the awesome power Christ has played mm -hmm. in calming a terrible storm and in freeing two men from the terrible scorn of demonic possession. Mm -hmm. This week, we examine how Christ continued to show his hidden power through two of his faithful disciples, mm -hmm. Peter and John. Right. The aim of our lesson, the facts, is to examine Luke's account of Peter and John's healing of a crippled man in Jerusalem. The principle to teach that God gives opportunities to serve and supplies the power to take advantage of them. The application to remind students of God's power and to encourage them to seize opportunities to serve others and witnesses for Christ. A lame man healed. Again, this is a very familiar passage of 
scripture our lesson tonight gives three outlines help anticipated <clears throat> healing accomplished holiness affirmed Amen. Amen. So we're going to get right into our lesson tonight. With no further ado, I'm going to turn it in the hands of Prophet Spragan for our lesson. God bless you. God bless you tonight, and God bless you. Um, okay, there, there she is. Okay. Um, we are so excited to be here tonight. Uh, you know what? How many of you really want God to use you? All right. I like what you said. He demonstrated his power through his faithful disciples. disciples Apo oh, yeah. The apostles. Mm -hmm. Peter and John. Mm -hmm. This is a very potent um, lesson for those who are actively, willingly, available, wanting to make an effort to do the will of God. And the thing is, we learned from last week, Jesus showed us his humanity side by controlling nature. Right. And then he turned around and gave us his spiritual side by rebuking two demonics mm -hmm. out of two men who was cutting themselves up and right. who was living in caves and didn't want anybody to come on that side. And that's why that storm was so unusual last week it wasn't a regular storm it was a storm sent by the devil to hinder them from coming right, over right, to the right, other side okay this week all right now this week we're in the acts of mm -hmm. the apostles mm -hmm. that means they are busy there's right. action going mm -hmm. on they are stretching now their spiritual muscles mm -hmm. if you will uh god gave us the power to utilize his son's name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. All right. At the name of Jesus, people are healed and mm -hmm. delivered. At the name of Jesus, people are built up mm -hmm. and people are moving out to mm -hmm. do what? The will of God. Mm -hmm. And so I just hope that you got right. on your spiritual muscles tonight. Amen. And you want to put on the whole armor of God and do the will of God while we are in this land of time mm -hmm. heading for eternity. I like uh, our lesson tonight and we're going to get right into it. We have three outlines as our superintendent Stated the first one is help anticipated, and then the one next one is called healing accomplished, mm -hmm. and then holiness affirmed. All right, now, now we have our first outline help anticipated, and it's coming out of Acts mm -hmm. 3 1 through 5. Okay. Before I start, I have a testimony, and I want to get it off the bat. And right. the thing about it is, it's really amazing. If you are ever teaching something or getting ready to preach something, notice how God will send you through the exercise about what you're getting ready to preach. All right. Now. Or what you're getting ready to teach. Mm -hmm. On this past week, in fact, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Uh, my mother and I had an appointment. She asked to take me to my appointments. And so what happened was we were... Uh, in the dentist's office, and my dentist, I tell you, he's the best of all, I tell you, and he's a Christian, and he helps a lot of people who are in problem, distress, and trouble, those who are the outcast that people don't want to have nothing to do with, Now here it is, a dentist making all this money, who takes his time to feed, to minister, to teach, what, the low, the outcast, the poverty-stricken people, mm -hmm. and I think that was awesome, mm -hmm. you're going his in, in his office and sure enough he, he has country Christian music and I don't care what type of music you listen to when you be in a whatever music environment you just start shaking your head and patting your foot whatever when we left the dentist's office mom says you know I need to go get me something to eat and I said well come on let's go we'll get you something to eat I've already had breakfast and so she said oh that's, that's alright I said no come on I'll, I'll take care of you let's come on let's go and so she said, nah. And then the Holy Spirit said, 
go get breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and so when we went in the restaurant and we sat down and we had ordered the food and stuff, it was so funny. Uh, I said, let me pray. And so I began to pray over the food. And what happened was this lady came up, she said, and I was closing the prayer out. And she said, I was trying my best to get in here to get the prayer. I said, well, come on. Mother said, well, you want us to pray again? We'll pray for you. And so what happened is, she said, well, let me tell you my testimony. And so what happened was, she and her daughter survived a very bad car accident in May. Mind you, the day before the accident, she said, I heard this voice. And this voice said, I'm going to take care of you. And she said, huh? She and so she was an atheist. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was, the very next day, they were in a very serious accident. And so when she got to the hospital, she was all banged up. Her daughter had some type of bruise or something on her neck. But God kept them alive. Mm -hmm. And when she was in the hospital, she said, the voice that I told you, I'm going to take care of you. And I said, wow. And so me and mother looked at each other and I said, ooh, this is an assignment. <laughs> so what happened was she told us her testimony. And so I immediately, I said, this is the day that is, was set before the foundations of the earth. And what happened is God spoke to you the day before and gave you heed and gave you a warning. Mm -hmm. You heard his voice. Mm -hmm. You identified that it was God talking to you. And I said, now this is your opportunity to accept his son, Jesus, as your Lord and Savior. Because you can't go to the Father unless you come through the Son. All right, she now. said, I'm ready. And baby, it was on <laughs> in the restaurant. I don't care who was watching it. We went into ministry. Mm -hmm. And the woman started boo-hoo crying and tears was flowing. Mother was crying and I would say, God, thank you. Because when you are, hey, hey, come on, I'll show you. When you are doing God's work, it's yes. fulfilling. Mm -hmm. It is miraculous. Mm -hmm. And what happened was we told her we didn't even start to come up in here. But the Lord told us to stop in this place. Right. It was for you. Right. And so, you know what? We got to be on our, what? On our, on our guard, waiting for, like the angels, waiting for instructions. Which way you want me to go? Where you want me to go? Who you want me to talk to? That's what we are here for, to stretch now our spiritual muscles. Go and ahead. you know what? <laughs> God is an awesome God because even in our lesson tonight, mm. and I, I know you're going to teach the lesson, but <laughs> well, you the thing did. about it is we never know where our assignment is. That is so true. In our lesson tonight, Peter and John didn't know where they were. They was going to the temple to pray. Come on. They didn't know that. This, this man was going to be sitting at the gate. Okay, now. I, I, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're hitting it. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, let's then. get into read it because it, we it. never know where our assignment is. Our first outline. <sighs> Help anticipate. It. Okay. X, uh, X3, three, one through one five. Through five. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, mm -hmm. and asked alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something up there. Mm -hmm. This is remarkable. Again, now the <laughs> apostles are stretching their spiritual what? Mm -hmm. Muscles. Because God has given them the authority mm -hmm. to do so. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is he has given us that same authority. All right, now. And we got to exercise it. Yeah. And the thing is, we need not look in it as if it all is up to us. It's not. He needs what? Hands and feet, a mouth. 
He needs ears. He needs eyes. And so what happened is he utilized his what his people, mm -hmm. his servants, his apostles, his prophets, his evangelists, his pastors, his teachers, fivefold ministry. He usually he utilizes us. To go in to the trenches, to go into the places where some people don't even want to go. And so what happened is, now here is two of his, what, faithful. Mm -hmm. Keyword. Faithful. You got to be faithful. You have to be. We're so faithful to do everything but what? The will of God. We're so faithful to make sure that we got all of our ducks in a row. But when mm -hmm. it comes to God, we haphazardly do stuff. We <laughs> throw stuff together. We were mm -hmm. trying to do this and trying to do that. Mm -hmm. And what happened is God wants what excellence from us. Right. He gave us his best. Yes, he did. So we have to give him what? Our right. best. Right. Just do your best. Just do your best. And let God what? Do handle the rest. That's right. And so what happened is it's not up to us to heal. It's not up to us to fix stuff. Because when you put it over into the master's hand, it belongs to him. Remember I said last week, Jesus said, I will. Mm -hmm. If you will, mm -hmm. guess what? When he wills something to you, you take it. Mm -hmm. But then you will back to him in faith that God, you're going to take care of this. I'm mm -hmm. giving it to you. Right. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be looking around and see what, what's going to happen. I'm not going to give you no timetable to work it out. No. -uh. However you do it, when you do it, it's fine with me. Because I am I'm no I'm not in a rush. So at the three o'clock hour. All right now. Peter. And John, the bolsterous Peter, mm -hmm. the lovable John, they go to the temple to pray. It was at what? 9 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the noon, and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so this is the hour where they go and have their time with the Lord. Right. We all should have what? Time with the Lord. And so what happened is, they are now getting ready to go into the temple. Now, this lame man had been born lame. Mm -hmm. He's never walked. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was they had certain people who would take him every single day and lay him at the call, the gate, the beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what happened is this gate was on the eastern side of the temple mm -hmm. where the women's court was. Right. And what happened is they would come in and out. And mm -hmm. so they would bypass. And he's hoping what? To look, get something from them because they didn't have no social program like we have right now. Right. They didn't have a food pantry. Right. A clothes closet. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a uh, 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 what meals on wheels right. and all of that stuff mm -hmm. that we now take for granted. Right. And so what happened is they had to be relying on other people to right. have compassion on them. Right. And you know what? We have to be so careful in this day and time that when we give, we give to the right cause. Right. Because some people have become scammers. Exactly. Some people have become workers, if you will. Mm -hmm. Working a scheme, a scam, mm -hmm. working your nerves. I remember Mother and I, again, uh, she takes me to all my appointments. And we were on our way uh, to get breakfast that morning. And I saw this man on the corner. And he had a, a sign out and begging for money. And had the audacity to be talking <laughs> on a cell phone. There you go. And I said, no, I said, mother, I said, now look at that. Now some people won't put two and two together. Mm. How are you paying that cell bill? Thank you. If you because you're panhandling. Yeah. And the thing is, if you didn't have, you wouldn't have no cell phone. And so I said to myself, see, that goes to show you how people will get over on folks. Mm -hmm. Whereas we went to another corner. Way on down the line, closer to the restaurant, and there was a, a a young lady out there, and I heard the Holy Spirit say, "Give her some money." I heard him say that, and Mother heard him too. So she and I dug in our purses at the same time. She said, "What you doing?" So I'm going to get that lady some money. She said, "Me too." And so what happened is, Mother gave her hers first, and the line moved up, and it stopped. I said, "Stop here, give her my money." 
And so she stopped and the lady gave her money. But I felt this peace in my spirit. Mm -hmm. See, God will let you know who to give to. Right. And how much to give to. And so what happened was, I was at peace. She was at peace. But that first man back there was on the cell phone. I said, I don't feel nothing, Mom. I said, uh-uh. I said, something ain't right. See, what happened is I want to pay your habits. Mm -hmm. I need to pay your needs. Right, you go. Not your wants. Mm -hmm, but your needs. But your need. And so what happened is this man had what? He actually had a need. Yes, he did. He didn't have no way to provide for his stuff. He, he, he had to look for others, what? To help him. To put it in his hand. And so sure enough, he was being blessed. But when he met Peter and John, and it, it, I like what he says. He says, look on us. And he's like, okay, I'm getting ready to get excited. I'm getting ready to get a big, mm. a, a, a big uh, donation. Yeah. <laughs> and so he says, silver and, gold have we, silver and gold have we none. That's the next outline. I'm sorry. I'm already in the next outline. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me back up because I don't want to get in there. But he said to look on us. And so what happened is when we look on somebody, we are in the expectation. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's depending on the type of need, the type of what's going on in the person's life. Just like um, every year, we clean out our house. Every year, we clean out our closets. And we give nice things to uh, the um, charitable people so they can give out. And my oldest daughter, oh, Lord have mercy, she had 10 bags of new clothes. With tags on them. Yeah. Ain't they ever wore them. Mm -hmm. I said, girl, what are you doing? We took them down. We had a truck load of clothes. Mm -hmm. By us, by herself. <laughs> Not including ours. But the thing is, we want to be a blessing, what? To other people. Because when you give, God blesses, what? The giver. And what happened is, there's a lot of people in need and who are hurting. You know, when the pandemic hit, it went through the roof and a lot of people couldn't afford certain things and stuff. They ran out of food. They couldn't go shopping and, you know, it was just they lost their jobs, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was like God was shaking the bottom uh, out and he was getting rid of all those procrastinators. He was getting rid of all those schemers and scammers because people really actually what had a need. I, I, I just want to say right quick too, you know, this lame man, he was born lame. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, now, he was born lame for such a time as that. Come on. For such a time as that. Mm -hmm. God knew from the beginning. Okay. When he was, God already knew when he was in his mother's womb, mm -hmm. his purpose. And that was his purpose right there. Right. For, 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 to be healed. To be healed. That day. That day. And, 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 and for, to, and, uh, for the people to see him being mm -hmm. healed. Right. And the thing about it is, help anticipated. He, he was anticipating some help, some arms, some coins, mm -hmm. just anything. Mm -hmm. But he got much, much more. You remember when Jesus healed the young man that was born blind? And you remember... Um, the Lord made that salve with his spit and mud mm -hmm. and put mm -hmm. it on his eyes and he told him to go wash mm -hmm. and through the pool of Siloam and he went washed and when he came back, he came back seeing and the people were saying, I know this is the man, this is the little boy, this is mm -hmm. the one and they said, well go ask his parents and the parents said uh, this is our son and he was born blind mm -hmm. How he became seen, we do not know. Ask him. He's of age. Mm -hmm. And the boy yeah. said, one thing I do know. <laughs> I was blind, but, but now, now I see. I see. All right. And so what happened is, God, I feel you tonight, Jesus. Mm -hmm. What happened is, whatever situation you are in, you ought to be anticipating. Anticipating. There you go. Anticipating right. God to do something yes. miraculous for you. Mm -hmm. You ought to be what? Expecting. Right. Be in expectation. Mm -hmm. When you are praying, 
Be in expectation. Why are you going to pray if you don't believe? All right. Why are you going to waste the master's time and your mm. energy? If you are praying and you don't believe and he's going to do it, don't waste your time. Don't. don't waste his time. Mm. Because what happened is God don't deal in doubt. He deals in faith. All right. And so um, the thing is, this man had enough faith to believe if I get to the to the temple, mm -hmm. what? I'm going to receive some alms. Right. Alms comes in clothing, comes in food, comes in what? Uh, even healing comes in what? Comes in clothes, food, and what else? I said money. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They come in those different levels. And so what happened is he has enough faith to go to work. That was his work. Hey, can, I'm, oh, I'm, God, I'm, I felt that. I'm, I'm, I got to say this right quick. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, now it, it, in, in the explanation of lesson, it says that, that this man was 40 years old. 40 years old. So he had been doing this for 40 years. 40 years. You hear that? That was his work. So this day was... was just another day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm because going to work. I'm going to work. I'm Come going on. to stay. And he was set there. And and, and they laid him there. Mm -hmm. Somebody had enough compassion to, 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 to lay him there. But day. you know what? I don't get. Here it is. You got people going into the temple to pray. And there's a need at the gate. Why didn't you bring the man into the temple? And pray for the man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, see, we have no, no, so no. many preconceived notions that it, 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 this will, prayer will work for this, but it won't work for that. They didn't know the healing power of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's what it was. They didn't know the healing power of Jesus Christ. But you Christ. were praying. Who are you praying to? Or what were you praying for? Come on now. Yeah, but anyway. But some people think prayer can't handle everything. Mm. They think it'll handle this, but it won't handle that. No, prayer is your petitions before God. God is the one that you're praying to mm -hmm. and asking him to what? To work it out. Right. He's the one that you're praying to to ask him what? To fix it. Mm -hmm. He's the one that you're praying to expecting him to what? Answer. Right. Keyword. Expecting him to answer. Right. So my thing is now, we who are putting on our spiritual muscles, strengthening it up, when you are now ministering, to other people. It is your faith. Mm -hmm. Not the person's faith. Mm -hmm. Your faith. Mm -hmm. You've been around the master. That's you've had experience with him. Mm -hmm. You've seen. You've read. you meditated. And what happened is. This Bible is our. What? GPS. Right. It tells us what to do. Where to go. How to do, what not to do, and we're supposed to what follow the instructions. Come on, mm -hmm. inside of this word. All right. If we want to ever see the evidence, follow the instructions. All right now. Follow what thus says the Lord. Amen. And don't deviate from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you said I'm in the other side. I'm sorry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but we're gonna move on to. We're gonna move. This is a good lesson. It is. And 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 and, and it's a lot in this lesson. Yes, it is. And we're gonna move on to our second outline, <laughs> uh, uh, Acts the third chapter, verses six through eleven. Okay. Healing accomplished. Mm -hmm. You know, help was anticipated. Help was anticipated. And healing accomplished. Okay. Verses six through eleven, and it says. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Mm. And he took him by the right hand mm -hmm. and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Mm. And, he, and he, leaping up, stood. And walked and in with them into the temple, mm -hmm. walking and leaping and praising God. Mm -hmm. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Mm -hmm. And they knew that it was he mm -hmm. which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Mm -hmm. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed, helped Peter and John 
all the people ran together unto them to the porch that is called Solomon's greatly wondering. Praise you, Jesus. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, hmm. give I thee. Mm -hmm. The man was looking <laughs> for something tangible. Right. Something he could feel. Mm -hmm. Something that he could utilize and spend or maybe his upcoming weeks, what, food or even shelter. Mm -hmm. He was looking for a tangible blessing. Yes. But again, he didn't have the faith to walk. It was Peter and John that had the faith. Mm-hmm. Right. Because when we pray, we need to be praying what? With faith. Right. That is going to be so. That is going to be so. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how long it's going to take, but it's going to happen. Right. Because at the name of Jesus, right. in the name of Jesus, yes. God says my word has been sent out to do what I what intended it to do. Mm -hmm. And it will not come back to me void. Mm -hmm. So when we pray in, we got to have the authenticity within ourselves to believe mm -hmm. God's going to answer. Mm -hmm. God's going to do this. Right. Because we are asking in his son's name. Right. Because that's how we are taught to pray. Right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And so what happened is I'm expecting a move of God. Mm -hmm. And so the man was looking on them and gazing and he anticipated, I'm going to get the money. He said, I don't have the money to give you. Yeah. But such as I have, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Wow. And he looked at him like, huh? And so what happened is next, Peter grabs him by the hand. And stood him up. And lifted him up. Yes. Because again, his mindset was on getting something in the hand. Right. Besides a hand. Mm -hmm. His mindset was seeing that, you know what? I don't know what you're doing. What you talking about? Get up and walk. I ain't never walked. Mm. But he didn't have no faith. But Peter and John had the faith. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, look on us. Mm -hmm. Look on us. Mm -hmm. I didn't come to give you nothing to spend. I gave, I came to give you something to heal you from your infirmity. Right. I came to give you something that's going to bless you to get up and walk up out of this thing. So now you don't have to be begging at this gate anymore. You can go to work. <laughs> Some people get comfortable, good God Almighty, it, it, in their infirmity. Mm -hmm. Some people get comfortable right. not wanting to do. Because right. I got folks doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Some people get comfortable, as the pastor said last week, lazy. Yeah. They do because what happened is they, they think they're old or something. Right. Just because you're disabled does not mean that God can do it for you. Just because you're looking for the government's check every month hmm. doesn't mean that God can't do it for you. You have to take your eyes off of the natural, if you will, and place it what? In the spirit. Peter said, that's all right. I got you, fella. Get up. Mm -hmm. He takes him by the hand mm -hmm. and he raises him up. Yeah. And immediately. 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 The ankle bones got uh, straight. Mm -hmm. Strength. Strength. Mm -hmm. They weren't leaning over, mm -hmm. but they got strength. Mm. The leg muscles kicked in. Mm -hmm. The knee joints uh, kicked in. <laughs> and then what? The hip, come on, mm -hmm. kicked in. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's standing up like he ain't never did before. He leaped up. He leaped up. Mm -hmm. When you get your blessing, don't tell me you won't leap. leap in, <laughs> he leaped and walked. When you get your blessing, don't tell me you won't go tell somebody. When you get your miracle, when God has answered your prayer, 
Cause folks didn't think you was gonna make it out. They didn't think you was gonna be able to take it. But God. Mm. And 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 the thing about it is, I, I I like what you what you said. He it immediately, his ankle bones was strength received strength. Right. And he leaped up. And he leaped up praising God. He went with him. He went with him in the temple praising God. Come on. In other words, he was finna go give God the praise and the glory. He wanted everybody to know. Come on now. What God had done for him. Can you imagine him walking in that temple? For the first time. For the first time. In his life. And them people were praying. They looked around and said, ain't that the man was at the gate? <laughs> we laid him there ourselves. I didn't know he could walk. I didn't know he could walk. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. The look on the people's yes. face. Amazed. But then what really got their attention was he was praising God. Yes. Jehovah, yes. thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Bless your yes. name. Bless your name, Lord. You healed me. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And can you imagine, can you imagine what was going on in the minds of those people? Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, can you imagine that when you are in your go through and what happened is a lot of times you are so what's the word bewildered bewild bewild bewildered that you don't think it's going to come true or you don't think it's going to happen but then there's a suddenly mm -hmm. that comes along right and immediately that comes in mm -hmm. and all of a sudden where you were down and now you are so lifted you are you so elevated because you know without a doubt right it was nobody but god there nobody but the god. man had enough sense not to say man thank you so much mm. man i appreciate you mm. that's what we do now mm. and that's a no-no because you are giving the praise to that man and not to god mm. You should always be grateful and thankful to God Almighty for doing what you thought couldn't be done. All right. And so the thing is, I, I, I applaud him. Yes. Because he gave reference due to rep who what reference was due to. That's right. And that was to God. Amen. That was to God. Amen. And I, I, I thank God so much for that man. And it was, hold on for a second before you go on to the next one. He was walking, leaping, and praising mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. I like what, I needed to back up a little healing accomplished. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we're good. I like what happened is, again, like I said, a lot of times we forfeit our blessings because we look at the man as though he's doing it right. and not God. Huh. You pray to God, God uses the man, and you turn around and look at the man and give him homage, which is a no-no, and you should be praising and thanking God. When you go through or go through, and when you come out of it, and you know it was nobody but God that did it, and God showed you, he didn't show the, the man, he showed it to you. Just like, um, just like when I was going through a go through and in the early stages of recovery, I always said, God, you know what? This is uncomfortable. Mm. I don't know what you're doing, but I thank you for how far you brought me and I thank you for keeping me because there was a lady that I knew. My mind immediately went back to my grandmother first. She had a serious stroke and she died from it. And then another lady that I sung in the choir with, she had a stroke and she was really twisted and mangled up and she died. And I said, Lord Jesus. So I had told him, Pastor Mom, I said, you know what, Mom? I said, she said, I know exactly what you're going to say, but don't think that. Right. It was my pastor mom that kept me focused and tunneled. Mm -hmm. Stay focused. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. Stay tunnel into the focus of God and keep him in front of me and not outside uh, persuasion that the enemy would throw mm -hmm. at me, Boys. those darts and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But I thank God because what happened is each level that he brought me through, God, I began to praise and worship him because I knew it was nobody, what? But God. Mm -hmm. And so again, 
we have to keep our focus where it should be planted on mm -hmm. him right. and not the man. Right. Not the woman. Not even your doctor. Because God is their head. Because what happened is you have to remember doctors are nothing but extended arms of God. Mm -hmm. They can cut on you, but they can't heal you. That's right. And so what happened is when you get your healing, give it the praise and glory. What? To God. To God. Amen. To God. Be the glory. Mm -hmm. So when you come through whatever you're going through, whatever platform you're on tonight, let it be known. To give all the praise to God Almighty. Amen. Yeah, prophetess, I done lost my job. And I don't know how I'm going to provide for my children. Guess what? God already got that covered. Mm -hmm. Ask him, Lord, you know what happened. Right. Where am I supposed to go? Right. What am I supposed to do? Show me. Mm -hmm. Show me. Yes, and Lord. guess what? He'll show you. Yes, he will. And he'll tell you. Just like the atheist woman that I testified in the beginning of the broadcast. She said... I heard his voice. Mm. I said, isn't that something? He does talk, doesn't he? She said, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. I heard him for myself. I said, and guess what? He protected you too, didn't he? Mm. She said, yeah, he did. He mm -hmm. brought me out of that accident. Mm -hmm. And I said, now, don't you want to give your life to Christ? That's his son. You got to go through him to get to, to the Father. She said, let's do it. A living testimony. A living testimony. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about it is, again, as we are ministering, as we are exercising uh, the spiritual robe that God has placed us on in, in uh, I'm sorry, in, I'm sorry, we need not to get high-minded, right. stiff-necked, mm -hmm. rebellious, mm -hmm. and say it was me. That devil mm -hmm. lied. Right. You're just an instrument. Right. You're just a tool that he's using and that he is what? Utilizing in his name. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one that does the work. All right now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. To God be the glory, Belinda. Amen. I see you. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> yes. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. So we're going to move on to our third outline. It's just lesson good. Yes, it is. I want to see some hearts and thumbs up, y'all. This yes, lesson is good. It is. Amen. And our, our first outline was help anticipated. And our second outline we just finished was Hidden the compass. Mm -hmm. Now, in our third outline, holiness affirmed. Mm. And uh, it's uh, Acts the third chapter, verses twelve through sixteen. But I want to I want to back up and read the eleven through sixteen, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and it says, "And as the lame man which was healed helped Peter and John, mm -hmm. all the people ran together unto mm -hmm. them in the porch that is called Solomon's, Solomon's, mm -hmm. greatly wondering." Mm -hmm. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly mm -hmm. on us, mm -hmm. as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, mm -hmm. the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, mm -hmm. whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. Hmm. But ye uh, but ye denied the Holy One mm -hmm. and the just and denied a murderer to be granted unto you mm -hmm. and killed the Prince of Life whom God has raised from the dead whereof we are witnesses. And this man through faith in his name has made this man strong, mm -hmm. whom ye see and know. Ye the faith, yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. I like what Peter does. He immediately takes the line light, the line light off of him right. and John. Right, right. And he affirms mm -hmm. that it was not them mm -hmm. that did this. Mm -hmm. It yes. was the one you crucified. Right. It was in his name mm -hmm. that what this miracle what was accomplished. Right. And so again, we cannot look at personalities. And that's what's wrong with a lot of the churches right now. 
they look to the personality rather than to God. Mm -hmm. And that's why so many people are limited because they got it twisted. When you've been through so much church division and hurt, you got to say to yourself, God, is this all that it is to it? Because hmm. that's the way that I was. When I got tired of being uh, 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 in ministry and people were flocking to the, uh, 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 the, the man and not to God. And mm -hmm. they would get the church in a whole bunch of ruggets because what happened is he was taking ownership like he was doing stuff. Mm. And you know what? That don't work. God will not have any other little G-O-D-S before him. And what happened is he'll get rid of them. Mm -hmm. And most of all those ministers that had that mind frame, they all go. Mm. They all go. Because like I said, you got to get to the place in your life say, hold up. I could have done this in the world. Why did I need to come to church to do this? Mm. You, you, you got to think in, in them terms. Mm -hmm. Because if this is what it's all about, then I don't need to be up in here. Because hmm. I don't want to do this. Hmm. I don't want to be uh, uh, accounted among uh, 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 the, uh, what? The, the thieves. Because hmm. mm -mm. a lot of pastors think it's all about them. Right. And that the finances what all belongs to them. Right. It's not. It's for the people. Right. It's for the ones who are hurting. Mm -hmm. Remember, they didn't have back in those days, they did not have what you call a what? Food bank. A food bank. Mm -hmm. They didn't have all those uh, social government services. social services mm -hmm. and this, that, and the other. They depended on each other. And right now, we have a lot of churches, not many, but there's some churches who do have what? Food pantries. Right. They do have clothing closets. Right. They do work in what? And giving help people with their rent or their electric bill or something, something tangible. But what happened is, the thing is, this is the key. The household of God is to be served first. That's in the word. That's in the word of God. You have a lot of people who don't come to church, but need the services of the church. Mm. Hello. All right. I love y'all too. It's the truth. There you go. It is the truth. Come when they want something. They come <laughs> when they need something. There you go. But the Bible says to take care of the household of faith is the first people you take care of first. Mm -hmm. You make sure that they are provided for. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about it is, I love this chapter because... Peter and John did not take ownership of the miracle. That's right. Like some pastors do. Right. Like some evangelists mm -hmm. do. Some prophets do. Mm -hmm. You ain't did nothing. Right. You're a stand in. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You ain't got no power to do nothing. Mm -hmm. If God don't allow you his power, mm -hmm. you ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. And even when he does give it to you, guess what? You still ain't nothing. Because it all but belongs to him. He just needs us as witnesses. That's what Peter and John was. Right. They were witnesses of the mighty power of Jesus Christ. And, and the thing about it is Peter, uh, Peter and John, Jesus had, Jesus had uh, given them the Great Commission. Come right? on. He told them to go. And they was about their father's business. They was about their they father's business. They were doing business. what Jesus had Told them told to them, do. Told them, instructed them to do. Right. Come on. Remember the last chapter that Jesus was doing it. This chapter is the acts of the apostles. Right. They doing it. Right. In the name, what? Of, of Jesus. Jesus. And we had the same. And we have that same commission and commandment. Mm. And we have that same power to utilize. But we can't get off and stuck on self. Mm -hmm. When we should be what giving God the praise and the glory. Mm -hmm. I like it what he says. He said he, he he says you, but he was really talking about those Pharisees and those priests and those scribes. Y'all was the one who killed the Savior. Mm -hmm. You were the one. And y'all decided you wanted a murderer rather than what uh, the Christ, the Messiah. Right. And so what happened is now you trying to hinder us from preaching in his name? Hmm. You can't tell me what to do. I belong to God. 
He commissioned me to go. What? And evangelize. He commissioned me to go and what? Preach his name. He commissioned me to go and what? Teach in his name. Hello? Mm -hmm. And so what happened is, if you want to get angry with somebody, get angry with God. Because mm -hmm. he chose me, called me, and placed me where I am. Just like what? He's done for everybody who have come and said, Lord, here I am. Use me. Save me. You all, we all have what a commission to do. Mm -hmm. We all got to what? Minister in his name. Some of us are going to help people in the uh, strategic area of provision, like the food, the clothing. And then what some of us are helpers. God has allowed us to have money, what? To be a help to people. Mm -hmm. And what happened, he knows who to give that money to. He just used you as an instrument. Mm -hmm. Hello? Some of us have what? The ministry of what? Miracles, signs, and wonders. And so what? He knows how much power to give you. And so what happened is the thing is, again, holiness affirmed. Mm -hmm. We have to do it in Jesus' name and not try to make a name for ourselves using the power of God. It won't work and God will get rid of you. Yes, he will. And and, and 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 one thing about in this lesson too, we, we as you get into the the background, the explanation of this lesson. Now, when, when Peter and John was talking, he was talking to them Pharisees and Sadducees, the ones that that's what the one that judged them, the persecuted them. Now, now the thing about it is, a lot of people that that when 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 Peter was preaching, they received it mm -hmm. and they were saved, and the church grew. It grew, yeah. A lot of them receive it. Because you know what? Oh, the, huh. When y'all see a miracle, mm -hmm. does it not turn on the light for you? Mm -hmm. When you know that this person was born this way and God performed the miracle right in front of your face, mm -hmm. don't that say, God, oh my God, I, I get it. Like the lady said, I, I get it. When the light comes on, mm -hmm. Having that epiphany of a moment. And what happened is you know without a doubt that it was only God that did it. Mm -hmm. It should do something inside of you. It should awaken you up. It should allow you to see things in perspective. It should allow you to see what a wretch undone I am. I thought it was this way when it was this way. I was told it should have been this way. But God is showing me something different. Because sometimes, you know what? We have lived our whole lives believing what we heard from hearsay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Until you experience it for yourself. Amen. And, 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 the, and the thing about it is, God is, Jesus is still performing miracles. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. Think about the situations where you should have been dead. Oh, come on now. But come he on. kept you. Come on. And we all can think of situations that we've been in in our life. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, we wouldn't be here. You know what? It is so amazing, again, when God uses you on an assignment. When I first came here, I had some health issues and things. And I remember I was admitted into a hospital downtown Dallas and uh, I was admitted from my job. I passed out on my job and I don't, I'm not the type of person that pass out. And what happened was my husband came and I told my mom, I said, you stand here with me in this hospital. And so they had to do um, surgery. And so they put me under and um, I was out for a while. But when I got back to my room, mom and I was sitting up talking and she didn't, you know, she's old school and I love her. She didn't got me about the bed and had me walking up and down the hallways. And the nurse was saying, what is she doing? She's not supposed to be on her feet yet. What are, mother had me going around laps around the nurse's stand. <laughs> and those people could not believe what was going on. But then the doctor came in to do his rounds and I'm sitting up in bed and I was getting ready to eat. And he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm about to eat 
they just brought me my lunch and I'm about to eat. He said, no, no, no. I heard you was up walking around. You're not supposed to be on your feet. I said, but I feel good. And he said, no. And then what happened is he started scratching his jaw. <laughs> and he looked at me. He said, I have a question to ask you because he was an atheist. And I said, okay. And normally I always ask, do you believe in God before you do anything to me? Uh, do you have a relationship with the Lord? <laughs> that's me. Oh, that's me. But because I was brought in unconscious, I didn't have a chance to ask him that. And they took me straight into surgery. And so what happened was, he said, do you think, do you think your faith is sustaining you? I said, I looked at mother, I looked at him, I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't you believe he's an I'm an atheist? I said, what? You are an atheist? I said, so that's why I had to come. It wasn't for me. It's for you. And he just looked at me. He said, what? I said, yes. That's why the Lord sent me here. It wasn't for me being sick. So he could see. It was for you to see for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They released me out of that hospital the very next day. And so he and didn't have to go back at all. Because again, you I feel y'all, y'all messing with me. I, again, you got to know your assignment. And you got to know why you're in the position that you in. Mm -hmm. God, you're using me for something. Tell me, what 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 is it that you need me to do? Who is it that you need me to minister? Who who am I supposed what am I supposed to do? He'll tell you. Right. He will tell you. He'll do it. Because what happened is, he's going to be glorified. Mm -hmm. And everything that we've ever been to, through, think about what you've been through. Okay. Think about it. Everybody mm -hmm. on the platforms. Think about what you came through. Right. And God was there to protect you. Mm -hmm. He covered you. Right. He what undergirded you. Yes. He kept you from losing your mind. Right. He kept you from bleeding out. Right. He kept you mm -hmm. from going to jail when you knew you should have been in jail. Mm -hmm. He kept you. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. You got to think about it. He kept you away with children. Right. He didn't let them overdose. Right. Come on now. He didn't let you overdose. He didn't let come. Oh, come, you better leave me alone. Yeah. That was way before my time, but I thank God I'm still here. Thank you. Hello, we got to be open and transparent, right. people. Be honest. Be honest and help other folks get through their go through. Mm -hmm. That's why you went through what you went through. Mm -hmm. So God can get the praise and the glory and be edified and be magnified. Yeah, and, 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 can, can you imagine the, 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 the people that were saved simply because they saw that miracle? That's and I'm can saying. you imagine how many people that can that are saved because they see where you come from? Come on, come on. I have people right now in my background who meets me on social media who knew me when, and they be saying, "Wow, I, I can't believe it." And I used to tell this guy that I used to write for him, and I could call him name because y'all know who he is. <laughs> but anyway. He wrote me a couple of songs. I used to tell him. I said, "I said you don't know where I came from. You don't have a clue. Yeah, God cleaned me up, but you don't have a clue where I came from." I said, "I used to drink men under the table, and I would be sober. I would be so sober, and they couldn't understand. How can you go drink a fifth of Hennessy and you don't get drunk?" I said, "Maybe I'm not supposed to have it." And drive. And drive. Hello. And so what happened is, what again, when you have that under your belt, per se, that testimony, mm. you need to release it because somebody is suffering. Mm -hmm. Somebody is saying, wow, I, 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 I can't imagine you did all that. I said, there's some other things that I can't go too deep. Hello, but I've been there. But I thank God for bringing me out. And I thank God because he gets the glory and the praise out of my life. And I thank God right now because what happened is I feel y'all on this line tonight. And what happened is you ready to pop. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Because the, Help somebody. Right. Because the thing about it is if, if, if when they see where God had brought you from, mm -hmm. that'll let them know that 
God has no respect of person. If he did it for me, he did it for me. He will do it for you. He'll do it for you. I told and there's a lot of times that's all people need to hear. Mm -hmm. If he did it for me, he'll mm -hmm. do it for you. I told my mother one time when I first got um, in um, Grolston ministry, I said, I got so much to tell you. But I said, but you can't handle it now. I said, as time go and progress on, I'll, I'll let a little bit out at a time. And stuff started to come up and come out. She said, oh my God, no wonder I was praying. <laughs> I said, but thank God for your mother's prayers. Hello. Yeah. Thank God that God uh, brought you through. Hello. Mm -hmm. Because what happened is he has a, what, a mission for you to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And all the stuff that he has put inside you will come forth. Because there's nothing wasteful about God. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wasteful about his seed because whatever he's placed in you, he's going to get it out. Mm -hmm. If you do it willingly, then that's a plus. Mm -hmm. But if you try not to do it, mm -hmm. you're going to get a banking, like my daughter says. You're going to get a spanking mm -hmm. and you're going to wish, I wish I had to open up when I was supposed to. Right. I wish I had said something because mm -hmm. my person was in the room and I, I neglected that I forfeited. Wow. And now I got to go around this lap again. I don't want to go around no another lap. Mm. I'm tired of lapping. I I I I just wanna I just wanna please God and I wanna be uh him to be pleased with me. And I, what happened is, like I said, and I always say this, you need to ask God, Lord, what does my evaluation look like? What does my grade look like? Am I pleasing you? Are you happy with me? Have I disappointed you? Please let me know. And if I have, tell me what I did so I can rectify it. And that's what we all need to do. That's what we all should and ought to do. It's so wonderful to see all of you online tonight. And I'm so glad to see you. Um, it's, it's, it's a blessing to see you, Sister Glenda, Sister Marie Rio. It's a blessing to see you, Belinda Holmes and Pastor Johnson was online, and Minister Jackie is online, and it's just so good to see you. Now, there's other people online, but you all don't interact with me, so I don't know who's there. But again, I thank you for tuning in. Amen. And I hope this lesson has helped you to stretch, stretch, mm -hmm. and strut mm -hmm. your spiritual muscles to bring praises and God, glory to God. Not to yourself, but to God, and let him be pleased with you. Come back with your testimony. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the beginning of, you need to go back to the beginning of our lesson. And I hope you guys can hear me real good this time. Can y'all hear me? Oh, bless y'all. Thank y'all. Did y'all have any problems on YouTube, anybody? Because if you did, uh, I, I won't know. But if you say something, but apparently not, because I talked to our tech. Ah, oh, thank y'all. I talked to our technician. I said, something got to be done. It, it's got to be done. But anyway, I thank God tonight because, again, we want to do things in the spirit of excellence. Mm -hmm. Because God is excellent. Yes, He is. We are the king's kids. We royalty. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know that? Mm -hmm. We royalty. We belong to Him. He loves us so much. Yes, Lord. And He wants to hear from us. And so what happened is, whatever you are anticipating, get what? In tune with the Father, mm -hmm. Lord, is this okay if I do this? Mm -hmm. uh, can I do this? Is, is, is this your will for me to do? Mm -hmm. He'll let you know. Yes, he will. And then when he does, he says, well, Lord, open the door for me. Mm -hmm. Open the way for me. Allow me to walk uh, upright before you. Allow me to walk upright before your people that they see you and not me. Amen. That's the whole thing about it is. Yeah. That's the whole thing about it. I thank God tonight. And I praise God tonight for our, our superintendent. And um, thank you so much. And you're such a good superintendent. You're such a good teacher. You're such a good <laughs> husband. But anyway, I thank God for him tonight. And I thank you all tonight because what happened is God is great and he is good. And we are living, like I said, in the last days. Amen. And so what happened is we want to put on the whole armor of God because he could crack the sky at any moment, at any time. Mm -hmm. You could look around and see what's going on yes, from the White House all the way down so to the doghouse. So you much. could see everything yes. that's going on yes. and God is not pleased. And that's why he's what? Uncovering. He's uncovering in the mm -hmm. church now. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. He's uncovering. Yes, he is. 
And we got to be what covered under his grace and his mercy. We got to make sure that we're pleasing him right. and doing what he called us to do. I thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you heard this message and you are waiting to receive him now. This is your perfect opportunity. Amen. And if Sister Billy is watching, God bless you. You said you was going to be online tonight. And I hope you are. Because you are instrumental to a lot of people tonight. Because you were an atheist, but now you are a Christian. Amen. That's an awesome testimony. Amen. So if you want to receive Jesus tonight as your Lord and Savior, who is the what? The doorway to God Almighty, mm -hmm. raise your hand and Amen. repeat after me. Amen. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, forgive me, forgive me of my sins. Of my sins. I turn from my sins. I turn from my sins. And I turn to you. And I turn to you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. You died. You died. You were buried. You were buried. And you rose again. And you rose again. You sit on the right hand of God. You sit on the right hand of God. Interceding for me. Interceding for me. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Accept me. Accept me. Into your precious. The kingdom into your precious kingdom. Let you be the Lord and Savior of my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. And let me live my life out for you. And let me live my life out for you. Fill me up. Fill me up with your precious Holy with Ghost. Your precious Holy Ghost. And write my name. And write my name in your book. In your book. The book of uh the the, the Lamb's book the, of life. The Lamb's Thank book you. of life. In Jesus in name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you're now part of God's family and you have all the rights, privileges, promises, blessings or yea and amen. Mm -hmm. You have them all. Yeah. All you have to do now is ask him. All you got to do now is just say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Yes, Lord. I admonish you to stay in Bible class, Bible teaching, Sunday school, Christian foundational teaching, the principles of the Bible and get what? Your spiritual muscles up yes. so God can use you in ministry. If you are a backslider, yes. you got hurt. Yes. You got thrown off the track mm -hmm. because you got tied up in the clicks and the clocks in the church. And what happened is the devil pulled you away because you were right on the edge. Right. And now you've been struggling. You've been struggling a long time. Aren't you tired of struggling? Mm -hmm. Come home. Come home. Amen. Come back to the Lord God Almighty. Come back to the Savior, Amen. your Redeemer. Yes. Just say, Lord, forgive me. I've sinned. Yes. Please allow me back into your fold. Yes, Lord. And then come back into the fold of God. Yes. And get busy. You know what you need Amen. to do. And to every saint out there. We bid you God speed. Yes, Lord. That God will bless you in your ministries. Yes. That God would uplift you and fortify you and strengthen you and keep you mm -hmm. and give you grace and mercy to continue on on this journey until we all come into uh, the kingdom of God. Yes. We thank God tonight for you and we love you so much. Amen. You are, are truly a blessing to us and we Amen. do love you. Amen. Amen. So we truly thank everyone uh, tonight. Uh, we pray that God will keep you. Yes. And we ask that if anyone have an offering tonight, would you like to give uh, in our offering tonight? You can go online and do so. At www.capitald, lowercase e s t i n e f o r. C H A N G E dot org. Amen. And you can give through Giveify, you can give through Cash App and the Zelle app if you have it on your phone. And we're up under our um on the Zelle app, we're up under our um oh shoot, our email address, mm -hmm. which is D F C M Servant at gmail.com. I'll repeat that. D as in David, C as in Charlie, F as in Frank, M as in Mary, Destined for Change, Ministry, Servant, 
S-E-R-V-A-N-T at gmail.com. Amen. And Father God, we pray right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless everyone that will give tonight. Yes. Bless the one that have a desire to give but have not. Yes. And Father God, we ask you to bless them, oh God, like only you can. Thank you, Lord. May this offering be used for the uplifting and building, building in your kingdom, your kingdom, God. In the name of Jesus, and it is so and so it is. Amen. 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 God bless you, you all. Remember, on August the 27th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Central Standard Time, that Pastor Geneva Alexander will be presenting the Daughters of Zion. And there's whew, six powerful women of God who will be bringing um, a sermonette, if you will. Mm -hmm. We have Sister Lady Sharon Gant Hall, who will be rendering a solo, and our intercessory prayer will be by Evangelist Diane Presley. And we have women from all over, and so we hope that you can join us. It's going to be on the Zoom platform, and that's going to be the membership ID is 296. Four eight seven one six seven six. I'll repeat that. The membership ID is two nine six four eight seven one six seven six. And the password is case sensitive. And it's going to be three capital Z as in zebra, lowercase y as in yellow, the number nine capital Z as in zebra, and Ara as in Robert. Lowercase Ara. Lowercase Ara as in Robert. Mm -hmm. So we hope to see you on uh, August the 27th at 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, we're expecting a glorious time in the Lord and hope that you can join us. And so with that being said, hopefully next week you'll um, join us again on... Walking in the scriptures and speaking the truth with Pastor Geneva Alexander and just truly Prophetess Darling Spraglin. And again next Friday, mm -hmm. Superintendent and I will be right back here right back. for Sunday School Golden Nuggets. Amen. If you have a prayer request tonight, it would be nice to know. You can just say pray for me and then type that in if that's what you need. And then what happened is God bless you. I, I see you. And so what happened is we just thank you tonight and we're going to go before God touching and agreeing Amen. on some things. Amen. Father, in the name yes. of Jesus, we come to say thank you so much. So much for your uh, awesomeness. So much for your majestic. Yes. So much of your awesome, mightiful, yes. powerful. Yes, oh, oh, magnifying, glorifying, yeah. and exalting you, God, because you are God and beside me, there, there is no other. Yes, you're so holy and righteous, God. You're so loving and you're so forgiving. Look beyond our faults tonight, Master. See our need. There's so many needs online yes, tonight, yes, Lord. God, that only you can meet. We come asking, oh God, for financial blessings Touch across Lord. the yes, line. Yes. Touch right now, yes, God. Lord. In the name of Jesus, open up the jobs, God. Open up, oh God, promotions, God. Open up ways and means yes. for your people, God. We thank you right now. We declare it and we decree it being so. so yes, Lord. That you would have mercy on your people, God. Please, God. Those who are in poverty, God, that yes. you would provide for them, Make God. Make a way, Lord. Make a way for those who are hungry and yes. those, God, who are without clothes, God. Yes. Clothe them, God. Give them shelter, God, yes, from the heat. God. Yes, yes. Give them shelter from the storms, wherever yes. they may wherever be, God. God. Have mercy on your people yes, tonight, Lord. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we pray right now that you would heal the sick. Yes. That you would heal those who are in hospitals. Yes, Lord. Those who are in hospice. Yes. Those who are in convalescent yes, homes. Yes, Lord. Those behind prison walls and yes. jail cells. Yes. yes. Have mercy on your people, God. Please, God. In the name of Jesus. Those, oh God, 
people who are up under the bridges. Yes. Who need medicine. Yes. God be the medicine. Please God. Provide the medicine. Please Lord. God the doctors oh God are extended arms of you. Yes. You are the one that heal. Yes, you are God. the one that deliver. Thank you God. You are the one that save. Thank you. You are the one that provides. <laughs> you, you are Jehovah Jireh. Yes. Our provider. Yes. You are Jehovah. Jehovah Rohi, yes. the God that healeth us. Yes. God, thank you. Thank you. For being Jehovah yes. Shammah. Yes. You're always there. Always. When we need you. Yes, Lord. Jehovah Shalom. Yes. The God of peace. The God of peace. God, we come against the enemy right yes. now. Yes, yes. We come against his tactics. Yes. We come against his schemes. Yes. We come against his agendas. Yes, Lord. We come against his warfare. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty yes, name. Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus yes. right now. Right now. Have Lord. mercy on those online right now. Yes. Have mercy on every household that's represented. Every yes. single mother. Yes. Every single father. Yes. God have mercy on the ministries. Yes. God have mercy on the pulpits across this yes. nation. Yes, Lord. God let your people, your men and women be about your business. Yes. And not about yes, their Lord. business. Yes, Lord. God in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Wake us. Up. Yes, Lord. Wake up the church. Yes, Lord. Wake us up. Let your word go forth, Master. Wake us up. Yes, Lord. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. To be about our Father's yes, business. Yes, yes. God, we thank you right now, Master. Yes, Lord. For, oh God, the children who are going back to school. Yes. We thank you for their protection. Please, as God. they ride in vehicles, yes. as they walk along the streets, yes, Lord. God protect them going and coming. Yes, Lord. Protect them around their homes, yes, God. Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the protect Lord. them in the classrooms, yes, in the schools, Lord. in the school campus, yes. God. Yes, Lord. Protect the babies, God, yes, Lord. who's in the daycare, God. Yes, yes. Protect the working families, yes, God. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you for thank taking you, control Lord. of this country. Yes, Lord. God, you're working it out. You're straightening it out. Yes, Lord. You're fixing it up. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, you're uncovering. Yes, Lord. And God, we thank you in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. We bless your name right yes, now, Lord. God, for putting people in office yes. who have a desire to please you to please and you. a desire to serve the people. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we call it done. Done. We decree it. Decree it. And we declare it. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' In mighty Jesus name. name. Thank God. Thank God. And it is so. And it is so. And so it is. And so it In is. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. And Father God, we pray right now, O Lord. <coughs> That the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit yes, will rest, Lord. rule, and abide with us henceforth and forever. And Father God, we ask you to dismiss us from this place. Yes, Lord. But never from your presence. Never from your presence. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And it is so and so it, it is. is. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. we God thank, bless you. We thank you and we thank everyone for joining us tonight. May you have a blessed day tomorrow, a blessed remaining of the week. And enjoy your church on Sunday. Give God all the praise and the glory because it all belongs to him. God see bless you. See you next time. Rhonda, we love you. We see you over here on Facebook. Mwah. <laughs>